Recurrence Relations for Reducing Balance Loans. You'll remember our recurrence relationships where we start with the starting value and we model a number pattern either arithmetically or geometrically or as a combination of both. And reducing balance loans have an increase of compound interest um, and that increase is a percentage increase so that's a geometric increase and you're paying it off with a um, subtraction of a fixed amount so of course that's an arithmetic aspect of the number pattern. So a little quick reminder VN means value or in this case the balance of the loan after n repayments r is the interest rate per compounding period the percentage but not per annum per compounding period d is the repayment and I'd better write the actual formula here. And capital R, you'll remember, is when we do 1 plus the interest rate over 100 to get the growth factor. And our formula is, of course, V0 is our principal and Vn plus 1 is the rate of growth times Vn minus the repayment. So this is your big important formula for recursive relationships with reducing balance loans. So Alyssa borrows $1,000 at 15% per annum, compounding monthly. Let's see if I can focus this any better. Uh, she will repay the loan by making four monthly repayments of $257.85. A, construct the recurrence relationship. It's a good idea to write your rule. V0 is the principal. Vn plus 1 equals Rvn minus D. So V0 is the principal of 1000. And we will need to calculate R. So popping over here, R is 1 plus the interest rate per compounding period over 100. It's quarterly. Oops, sorry, clear my calculator. So 15% per annum. We'll need to divide that by 4 to get quarterly. Then divide that by 100. And then add 1. So R is 1.0375. What have I done wrong there? It's monthly repayments. I'm sorry, I said quarterly. It's monthly repayments. So we don't divide by 4, we divide by 12. 15 divided by 12 means it's 1.25 percent per month divide that by 100 add 1 R is 1.0125 my apologies uh, we have the repayment which is D so VN plus 1 is 1.0125 times VN minus the repayment $257.85 so that's a recurrence relationship for this loan, eventually. Sorry about that. Now you'll remember that we can use our calculator to recursively find each number in a pattern. And the number pattern here is the balance of the loan after one repayment, after two, after three, after four. So remember, you start with your principal, 1,000, and you hit enter. And that gets your principal value over here. And you need to multiply it by 1.0125 and subtract this amount. 
So if you type both of those in, times, I'll move that so we can read it, 1.0125 minus 257.85, then this is the value after one repayment. And this question says find the value after each of the four repayments. So after payment one, Oop. Sorry, I'm trying to put that somewhere where you can read it and I can still write. It's a bit tricky. $754.65. And then just hit enter again and it will get payment two. Always rounding to two decimal places because it's money. Hit enter. The value after repayment three. And enter again. And we've got four cents left over. And the last question there is, is the loan fully paid out after four repayments? No, because there's four cents left. Obviously, this means we have to adjust the final payment. So the payments were $257.85. Final payment is $257.85 plus four cents. Sorry, I shouldn't really put the dollar sign in there. Which is a final payment that has now been recalculated. And it is important to make sure that we do finalize our loans, that you're not left with a tiny amount of cash in there doing weird things with loan charges and stuff like that. So that is recurring, uh, reducing balance loans with a recurrence relation.